Here we're on the right side of the feeder house and we'll talk about a 50 hour grease interval. We have a grease zerk on our cruise pilot drum on the right side and the left side. You want to hit this zerk every 50 hours. We're on the left side of the machine. We're going to talk about our main component bearings. Now you can see a red sticker indicating that we have a 50 hour grease interval. You can see our main greasing block here, grease each point every 50 hours. We're on the left side of the machine and we're going to talk about a couple grease points for our rotor bearings. You can see behind me we got a 50 hour grease interval, a red sticker for our rotor bearings. We're on the left side of the machine and we're going to talk about the tension device for our unload chain. Here we got a red sticker indicating a 50 hour grease interval. The grease zerk for this tension device is on the back side of this sprocket here. Here on the left side of the machine we got a grease block for our unload auger tube. Here you can see the red decal indicating a 50 hour grease interval. Grease both points which greases the upper and lower part of our unload auger. We're on the right side of the machine here. I've opened up my rear panel and we're going to access the rotor drive components. One block that we want to point out here is a 50 hour service interval and this will grease the bearings for the rotor drive components. Here we're on the right side of the machine here and we're going to talk about a red sticker here, 50 hour grease interval. This grease block here that you see five different grease zerks on is going to grease the main component bearings on the right side of the machine hit each of these zerks every 50 hours. We're on the right side of the machine and we're going to talk about the tension of a returned elevator chain. Here I remove my door so I can access the chain back here on the, on the bottom sprocket. Now we want it tight enough that it rests up against the sprocket but we want it loose enough that it slides back and forth on the sprocket. We need to check this tension every 50 hours. Here at the top of the returns elevator we can adjust our chain tension by doing so here. We can loosen up the bolts on each side and then use a the jacking bolt on the upper side here to adjust the tension of our chain. Once again, this has to be done every 50 hours. And while we're up here, we can also check the tensioning of our drive chain for our returns auger. This has to be done every 50 hours as well, and we can do so by adjusting this tensioner here. We're on the right side of the machine here, and we're going to talk about the tension of our clean grain elevator chain. We want to check this every 50 hours. To do so, we remove the cover off the bottom of the elevator. Now, there's a couple different styles of clean grain elevator chain tensioners. Here you can see an automatic tensioning cylinder. This is our new style. Some of the older machines might have a different style with a ball valve integrated with the hydraulic cylinder. Or, if it doesn't have a cylinder at all, it may have a mechanical adjustment. Please refer to your operator's manual for the proper procedure in tensioning the clean grain elevator chain.